Hi, I'm Asma Dibbon. I'm the founder of GrooveTubes, and as some of you may know, we recently sold GrooveTubes to Fender, and I'm partnering with them to develop new products and continue to sell the products that we've been making for over 30 years. Some of those products are the audio products, and uh, we're pretty well known for our microphones and our, and our preamplifiers, and that line has now become a product line of Fender, and I'm a, a product promoter of Fender and uh, the Groove 2 product line. So this is our first show uh, included in the Fender booth, which is very happy to be here and talk to you a little bit about what we're doing. We make, uh, we make recording microphones and we make live microphones uh, with the recording uh, technology. We are, are at the bottom of our line, you might say the beginning area. We have our live microphones, the hard top and the convertible. Uh, the convertible has a top that comes off and that allows it to be a guitar mic or a vocal mic for uh, close applications. That's a microphone that can be used on the, on the stage in a live performance. Uh, it's not an expensive mic. They range retail price from $129 to $149, so everyone can afford one with a, a discount at your favorite store or something. Uh, but they are a true condenser microphone. They're not a dynamic mic. They're not an electret mic. They're true studio recording microphones, so you can take them back home to the home studio and use them on guitar, vocals, and so forth. Not an expensive mic, but it's the beginning of our technology that, that moves up. As we go up, we have basically two styles of capsules, a large capsule, a lot like the picture shown here, which is a one and a half, 1.1 inch diaphragm. All of our large capsules have a three micron diaphragm. That's the listening device or the eardrum of the capsule. And at that thinness, it has a very high resolution. So you hear more detail. That's one reason our microphones are so popular. Now we have two styles, and the second capsule, pardon me, would be a mid-sized capsule, would be shown on this microphone here. Um, and this is a three-quarter inch capsule. I've taken off the, the dust cover. And it can actually unscrew, and this comes with a cardioid. You can also get an omni and a hypercardioid pattern. This is a six micron mid-size capsule. Now all of our large capsules, which are shown in the picture here, uh, they're the three micron. Most of them have a very unique feature in a large capsule, which is called a disc resonator. And that, that is something that physically extends the high end of the capsule, allowing it to be a lot brighter than most big capsules are, which makes it not just a good vocal mic, but also a good guitar or piano mic. That's our large capsule design. So those two basic capsules, uh, and then we have two basic following sets of electronics. The electronics and condenser mics really aren't like the electronics in, a micro, in, a, in an amplifier where we're looking to amplify the signal, but we're looking to con convert the impedance of the signal. A uh, very high, high impedance from a condenser capsule has to get down to from a couple of billion ohms down to a couple hundred ohms. So the job of the electronics, a lot of people think it's tubes sound great because they distort and all that. It's not why we use a tube. The tube in this circuit is used as an impedance converter and it just has a much truer characteristic of converting impedance. Of course, a tube in the microphone means you're going to have to spend more money because you need a special cable, you need a power supply for the tube. So where most condenser mics just plug into your phantom power or XLR jack that runs off your mixer. Two mics have those additional components so that makes them a little more expensive. However, our two mics start at about $500, go to about 1000 so they're not really expensive. And uh, extremely good electronics to follow. We use a miniature style too. I don't know if your picture can see this. I'll drop my briefcase. Military grade tube, hand selected. Uh, very special circuitry, custom nickel torn output transformers. Uh, very high grade output transformers. That kind of shows you the breakdown of our condenser microphones. The following electronics uh, could also be FET solid state electronics, uh, which are conventional to most con condenser microphones. Our, again, we take a different approach to that. Rather than using op amps, we use FET field effect transistors, which are smoother and warmer sounding. A lot of guitar amps are built with those instead of op amps because the guitar players like them. They have more of a, a tubey sound. Our, uh, our tube mics are un unconventionally clean and highly dynamic, and our, our FET mics are unconventionally warm as compared to other FET style microphones using op amps, which are pretty much the bottom of the sound uh, meter as far as tone goes. There's a new mic we brought out which is called the ribbon mic.